amen, amen. Welcome one more time. God bless you, Shekinah Worship Center. It's good to see you. Amen. We are thankful. Here we are at the kickoff of catechism. You thought it weren't going to happen. It is starting right now. Right now. God bless you. Those of you tuning in uh, via social media, Facebook, thank you for joining us. We greet you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are thankful for the omnipotence, omnipresence, and omniscience of the Holy Spirit, the Father, and the Son. We are covered. Amen. And it's such a wonderful truth to know that we are secured in Christ Jesus. And we pray that if you don't know Jesus Christ to the pardoning of your sins, my goodness, before it is too late, before your time turns into eternity, that you will make that decision. Come on into the kingdom, become covered, and then lead others to the road of repentance so that your family, you can celebrate now and celebrate in eternity. That's our heart's cry. And so we're glad to greet you. We certainly honor our covering, Bishop Reverend Dr. Jacqueline E. McCullough. Amen. You have to put our hands together. Boy, she preached a sermon. You got to check out the midday one on a Sunday. Woo-wee. I tell you, it was a good one. It's a hot one, as they say. Amen. Shout out to you, Bishop, to the Beth Rafa family and the Rafa Alliance of Pastors. We are glad to be in relationship with you. Also, while I'm at it and greeting folks, I see our first lady from Beacons for Christ Ministry in the UK, Reverend Eunice Lightborn. God bless you for your consistent diligence in being with us. It's a wonderful example. And so to those of you on screen, behind the screen, and in the platform of Facebook, again, we welcome you. We've just finished a season of prayer, and we've prayed for the church. We've prayed for uh, the government, uh, our own personal families, our elder, Reverend Dr. Wendy Woods, closed out in prayer. And we just want you to know that not only are we teaching, we are praying. Because we know that some things come not out but by prayer and fasting. And even on this day, some of us know to remember it's fasting uh, until midday, turning down a portion of the day as we consider the plight of Bermuda, the plight of our family. We need Jesus. Amen. I'm glad we've got Jesus too. Let me tell you that in the midst of storms and political drama, hey, I may be upset about some things, but I'm tr pretty much excited about Jesus Christ. Amen. Nothing can take away or remove that from us. So welcome again to our catechism. And we're going to go into the praise and worship. And we want to welcome our deaconess, Sister Carolyn Lamb. And she's going to bless us with two songs before we go into the teaching proper. God bless you, deaconess. Good evening, one and all. Here we are, another Wednesday night, but starting catechism over again. And we are together again. And we will sing that. We're together again. We're together again. Just praising the Lord. We're together again. In one accord. Something good is about to happen. Something good is in store. We're together again. Just praising the Lord. We're together again. Just praising the Lord. We're together again. In one accord. Something good is about to happen. Something good is in store. We're together again. Just praising the Lord. 
we're together again, just praising the Lord. We're together again in one accord. Something good is about to happen. Something good is in store. We're together again, just praising the Lord. Something good is about to happen. Something good is in store. We're together again, just praising the Lord. Amen. We're together again to start another session of catechism. And we are going to see the windows of heaven are open. The fire is falling tonight. The windows of heaven are open. The fire is falling tonight. I've got joy, joy, joy in my soul since Jesus made everything all right. I gave him my filthy old garment. He gave me a robe of pure white. I'm feasting from manna from heaven. That's why I'm so happy tonight. The windows of heaven are open. The fire is falling tonight. I've got joy, joy, joy in my soul since Jesus made everything all right. I gave him my filthy old garments. He gave me a robe of pure white. I'm feasting on manna from heaven. That's why I'm so happy tonight. The windows of heaven are open. The fire is falling tonight. I've got joy, joy. Joy in my soul since Jesus made everything all right. I gave him my filthy old garment. He gave me a robe of pure white. I'm feasting on manna from heaven. That's why I'm so happy tonight. One more time. The windows of heaven are open. The fire is falling tonight. I've got joy, joy, joy in my soul since Jesus made everything all right. I gave him my filthy old garment. He gave me a robe of pure white. I'm feasting on manna from heaven. That's why I'm so happy tonight. Amen. 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 Feasting on manna from heaven. Well, only the saint of God, those that are being led by that glory cloud, the Shekinah cloud, can talk about being led by and feasting on manna from heaven. Amen. And we're starting that meal right now as we praise and as we worship. All right, we are beginning that uh, worship experience that will carry on for eternity. So if you're not praising now, what in the world? We're in practice session, folks. Hallelujah. We are honoring and praising God right now. And, and he's going to recognize that praise. He's going to recognize that blood. Come on, somebody, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to get into that a bit on the teaching uh, there is a definitive requirement and expectation. This is not a, a free, free for all. What? What in the world? This is not a free for all. Amen. You don't, you don't even want everybody coming in your house. And then you have a standard. Wow. How about that great mansion? How about heaven? I just don't think we, we want to be real sometimes, you know. Some people, they come in my house, they say, do you want us to take off our shoes? Should we wear socks? Because different homes have different standards. The home that we are endeavoring to live eternity in has a standard. Oh, yeah. 
You got to have gospel shoes. You got to have your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And if you don't like the gospel now, you ain't going to be in heaven. Hallelujah. Oh, it's going to be gospel time. You talk about gospel train. Hallelujah. I've got a lot of questions to ask people. I want to ask Solomon. I hope Solomon's there. Then I want to ask him, with all your wisdom, how come you're so smart that you ran and you started going with all these women? What happened? Did you put your wisdom to the side? What made you do that? I've got a stash of questions. Anybody else got questions? <laughs> I've got questions. I want to know, Adam, you, you loved Eve that much. But anyway, you see, we've got questions. And that's why we can ask questions even now. Even now we are in that frame, that mindset of God. We want to know your word. We want to study your word. Not just read it, but let's talk about it. Let's press in. You know, let's not be lazy Christians. Let's press in and find out what this is about because the warfare is great, folks. And I can take a little extra time tonight because we don't have a reviewist. So it's going to be short, kind of short, because your teacher is the pastor, right? Yeah. Amen, amen. So we're getting ourselves ready. And we want to encourage you who are tuning in live, who will see it on TV in the weeks to come, that get yourself ready. Matter of fact, don't get ready. Be ready right now. Because if you're not ready, guess what? You're actually not ready. How about that? If you're not ready, you're not ready. And no one can make a dead person ready. You've got to be alive, willing, because we don't force people into heaven, willing, choose ye this day whom you will serve. Will it be the gods on the other side? The Egyptian gods? Say that, Simon. The voodoo gods? The yoga gods? What is these words? The diva? I don't use that word diva. I'm going to have to teach. I see some Christians using it. The diva gods? See, there's the gods on the Egyptian sides. The horoscope gods? No. We serve the one true and living God, Elohim. He's the only one that we serve and we, we, we give homage to. We honor. He's our sovereign God. No substitute, no equal. One God. Somebody say one God. All right, all right, all right. All right, folks. All right. I think I've talked myself up to teaching. And so we're going to begin catechism. And let me say the catechism sets forth questions in an orderly way. And then we as leadership, we not only read the book, we go to the book, the Bible. And that's where we teach from. We do not teach from catechism. We use it as a guideline, and then we teach from God's holy word. So I just wanted to say that. Well, here we are. Folks, let's roll. Let's go with this. Well, first of all, I want to breathe a prayer. Let's pray. Let's pray again. Father, thank you. Thank you that you called us out and in. And God, as we are in the kingdom, we desire to learn more of you so that we will maintain and hold the line and become stronger in you. So, Father, as we're about to go through this teaching time, I thank you for the wisdom and the understanding and the ability to communicate uh, as a representative so that I do not fail the moment and fail the kingdom. So I thank you in advance, and I present myself as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto you, my reasonable service. Have your way during this teaching. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Woo, that scared me. I woke up and saw my face right on the screen. Superintendent, you scared me. Hi. Okay, there we go. All right. So I was like, woo, big eyes is all I saw. Now that's Diane Russell. Yeah. All right. <laughs> like, give her the gallery. Give her the gallery. Well, folks, with that in mind, and that, I ease myself into teaching. I, I just like to be relaxed. We're going to start as we have been accustomed to start, to begin, and that's with the sanctification confessional. And we are going to invite our Reverend Eunice Lightborn to lead us in the confessional. Thank you, Rev.
Amen. God bless you, Pastor. God bless you, everybody. And God bless you, everyone on social media. Let us read our sanctification confessional. I am a sinner saved by grace. I was guilty of sin and I cherished it. My life was a willful offense to God. I didn't want him and didn't care if he wanted me. But despite my depraved existence and my evil and selfish ways, because of his grace and mercy alone, he chose me. Hallelujah. My salvation is only because he drew me to himself. I was spiritually dead and he awakened my spirit to be attracted to him. Now he wants me to know him and to have eternal life through him. He wants me to change through the process of sanctification and be more like him. But I have tried and know I am incapable of sanctifying myself. I want to sin because my sin nature is still alive. In my flesh is no good thing. My flesh is hostile towards God. It is an active enemy of God. Nothing I do will sanctify me. Performance, good works, talents, and gifts do not qualify me. Oh, glory. My goodness. I can only be sanctified through his word. I must commit to this process, dying daily to my flashy ways and ideas. When I embrace the sanctification process daily, it will gospelize my life. I will be a new creature. His death, burial, and resurrection guarantee I really can have a different kind of life. Therefore, I pray for the word to seize my heart, to conquer the filth of my mind, and to capture the longing of my soul. I want to be sanctified. I need to be sanctified. I am determined, hallelujah, to be sanctified. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Eunice Lightborn, for that. And I, I only want to say it's going to take a determination. It's going to take a determination. You're going to have to fight against the ills of this world. Be determined every day. Be a soldier every day. You cannot sit at ease. That's how important sanctification is. All right, before we get into the teaching proper, I need to read this statement, and Reverend, you can put it up. We want you to understand this as we go into question 29, opening the curtains. It's showtime, showtime. Here we go. And this is our disclaimer. While we use this book, the Westminster Shorter Catechism, to address a set of questions and answers, as we travel through, we continue to meet up with statements that we do not agree with. As we study to show ourselves approved, we will share with you our response to questions based on the scriptures of the Holy Bible as we study God's word in context. Some of you have the book, and we advise you to make notes of where we differ in response and then go to the YouTube teaching of our sessions for our interpretation of scripture. Amen. Amen. 